Hello, it's Yvonne. I'm back, like I said, for the Thrifting for Resale haul review number 42. 42. So, this is from the last three Thrift With Me shops, except for the Christmas one, because we did that yesterday. All right. And I found a few items, and I, I'm like, wait a minute. I think I... I don't think I showed these. They're from a previous haul. I don't think I ever showed these. Anyways, just in case, um, $5.99, a little vintage. Ambrose, New York. It says a little vintage, like, sort of pillbox with mink. Probably mink. I'm just guessing. Probably mink. Let's come slow. Could be something else. Beaver or something. So I'll figure that out. And sometimes if I can't figure it out, like with certainty, Oh, look, that has a union label. Yay! That has a union label. Yes. Um, if I can't figure out with certainty, you know, I'll say, question mark, maybe, maybe this, maybe that. Anyways, that's cute. It's got little combs. They come off, but little combs to help keep the hat stay in. So, I don't know, probably about $20, $25. And I thought this was adorable. This was only $1.97, so just in case I forgot I wanted to be sure you guys saw this cuteness look it's a little girl's change purse and muff I can barely get my hands in it granted I'm a tall girl but still so I'm gonna say this is a little girl's looks like rabbit fur that's super cute so huh, $1.97 I'm sure this is vintage I don't see a tag in there but I'm guessing I don't know probably about $25 range I'm guessing We'll see. Sometimes I have, to, when I finally get to listing, I'm like, oh, okay. Or, you know, it stays up for a while, no interest. And I might have to mark something down or put it on sale, you know, make an adjustment. But usually I, I don't worry too much. I just list it and try not to worry. I'm okay with some long tail items. And then this cute purse by Chocolate. It is leather. I Chocolate's not real well known, but... I've bought one of their purses before at the thrift store for myself. Now well, this little cutie was $3.99 and it's got chain mail on it. So, yes. Now, it's kind of short, I think. I know this is kind of the trend. I think the younger girls seem to like this kind of, like, just under here. So, if I decide to keep it, I will probably take these off or either add more chain or it's very popular to buy a customized strap you know like I am um, I've bought several off of eBay for from overseas they're like under ten dollars so I've the last year and a half I've switched a lot of purse straps to make it more fun more custom and it just you know it was a popular thing to do so We'll see. If I put this up for sale, it'll probably be around twenty-five, thirty. eBay and Poshmark, I would do this. I might even talk about, you know, how you could um, offer some suggestions, lookbook suggestions of how to have a longer strap if you wanted to do, like, crossbody for a festival or something. It's really cute. Okay, so just in case, I just wanted to go over that again. You guys, let's, let's start here. It's been a while since I found a good... Um, crochet blanket or anything okay so this doesn't have you know like raised flowers or you know the cute little granny squares it is just striped it is a cheaper yarn I could tell it's a cheaper yarn but what saved it is obviously someone got it as a gift and didn't like it or someone never used this so it hasn't even like there's no pilling no fuzziness at all it's like brand new it's like your aunt just gave it to you um, it made it to the half price, so $5. And I do like the red, white, and blue theme with the variegated, is that how you said that? Variegated or ombre um, in between. So the, some of those factors balanced out, you know, the cheap yarn, the no special pattern. You get what I mean? Okay, so it's a pretty good size. It looks like about a twin size. A little oversized throw or it would fit on a twin bed is my guess I'll probably put this up for around 30 probably sell it for around 25 so I always check you know the blankets and stuff okay and some clothing <clears throat> 
half price. Okay, these were marked $24.99 and I passed on them the first time, even though I spotted them. They made it to the half price, so I did pop $12.50, only because I'll let you look. Some of you, if you do clothing, you already know why. But these little skater punk from the, um, mostly from the 90s. What's the other? Junko. Junko. Oh, darn. Am I confusing that with Funko? Junk. Yeah, Junko jeans. J-N-C-O. Which I think they went out of business two years ago. And they had a big flash sale on their website. I haven't checked to see if they actually did go out of business. But anyways, there's a couple other brands. All the rage. So these currently are selling for anywhere from 40 to 60 so that's why I went ahead to pay that kind of money for these. <laughs> Illig, I-L-L-I-G. So if you look up this skater brand, you'll probably start to see like the Jinko. There's no vowels in there. It's J-N-C-O. And then there's a couple other skater brands from the 80s, from the 90s and early 2000s that's real popular. Um, so believe it or not, there you go. So this could go to a guy or a girl. It's a smaller size, but that's okay. That's all right. So cute, huh? So remember that? Oh, I just picked up two. They look brand new. Little sugar skull cat and dog throw towels, kitchen throw towels, 99 cents. They could have been part of the King Super 99 cent or Walmart 99 cents. I don't know, but they were still cute and new. So just for myself. Okay, this is what I want to get to. There's four of these. You guys, if you go thrift with me, you know I'm so excited. But look at these panels. <clears throat> $6.99 a piece. There were four of them. I bought all four. They're from World Market. Gauze panels about, what is that, about seven and a half feet. Seven feet, seven and a half. And then look at the macrame on that. Just the macrame piece alone, like, I could, like, if I was to even just put this on a stick and just cut off everything else is worth more than seven dollars so a lot of the boho um people still like some macrame and although you know following the trends there's some cheaper versions of macrame coming out still it's you can still get a little bit of money for it it's not that easy to find so i'm gonna have a decision do i want to make these shorter and put these in the family room for the two windows do i want to sell them so awesome i think um if i can get a good price for them and not be too sentimental worrying that it's going to somebody good well if i get a good price that means somebody loves them because they're going to have to pop on them then i might just keep these and put them in the family room but don't you think that was a good find yes so pretty let's do the clothing real quick while we're on there um this was not just the other day actually Spanx. Now, I know they're known more for undergarments and things like that, like controlling garments, but these leggings you can wear out, and if they, if you find them new, they're reselling. I don't know how much they are in the stores, but they're even reselling on eBay for like 60 to $80 if they're new. These aren't brand new, but they're in great shape. I mean, they're not new with tags, but they look relatively new. So I should be able to get about 40 about 40 for these. So I paid $6.99. I think everyone knows what Spanx, most women know what Spanx are. That's not coming through, is it? Spanx with a X. Okay, sorry, it's not coming through. Spanx with an X, you know, the undergarment stuff. So, that was good. And St. John outfit. Now, this is super vintage St. John. It is still the Santana knit. Let me show you the label. This is a real vintage label. But I, I've sold, I've sold it this vintage before. No, that's a real vintage St. John. But look, and I, I get nervous buying white and cream and light colors. But look at this. Isn't that definitely a yes? Oh my gosh. Comes with a skirt and a belt. <laughs> what? So even though this is super, super vintage, um, the Santana knit holds up well. It's doing well. No, Nothing's too stretched out. The elastic in the skirt is not overstretched or deteriorated because, you know, this is a better quality uh, label. That is everything. Ah, oh, someone's going to really like this, and I hope I can get a picture of them wearing it. That is so cute. So um, normally I don't price this vintage of a label 
of St. John as high as like the one I sold, what, last month for $250. But because of this supreme cuteness, I'll probably, I probably will put this somewhere around 100. We'll probably, probably start out 120, you know, take some good offers. That's too cute. Everything matches. You've got a matching belt. St. John Vintage. So, that was a different, yes. <clears throat> oh, I paid $14.99, but that's okay. That's all right. And this Ralph Lauren, because it's um, a black label, and it's all silk. So, if it had been a Lauren, Ralph Lauren, something like that. Am I supposed to say Lauren? Uh, I'm American. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't touch it. But um, being all silk, not partial, all silk, Ralph Lauren black label. I paid $5.99. Usually something like this will sell. It usually takes a few weeks or so. It is winter, but it doesn't matter. It's not cold everywhere. Um, probably around 35 ish 38 probably. Only, you know, when we do St. Lauren, we have, to, I mean, um, Ralph Lauren, we have to, you know, be conscious of the hierarchy of the different labels because they have different price points. Different price points in the store and, you know, different price points for resale. Right? Okay. This just looked like quality, a nice little ethnic or boho quality. Um, I was hoping it wasn't going to just say, you know, made in India or something like that or made in China. It has cameo, plastic 3D relief cameo buttons. This is kind of a raw silk. Um, let me come in closer in case someone doesn't know raw silk. It's got like, well, you can see like threads in it. So you almost think it's like not a good fabric, but it is. And then it seems to be painted with a bronze um, metallic paint. And the label is very good. Would, would I say Euro? You are you. Made in USA. It does say made in USA, okay? So everything was going for it. Cute little flared bottom, shirt bottom there. Um, so I'll call this a tunic. I paid $5.99 and most tops like this under that label are going anywhere from $40 to $80. And this label isn't real expensive. It's sold mostly in um, not counting when it, you know, filters down to like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, but like um, the first run, you know, um, the kind of boutique-like, mm, boutique-like stores and then chain stores like Steinmart, um, things like that. I'm, I'm trying to, like a little bit higher end, but not too high end. So I, I can only think of Steinmart off the top of my head that does things like this. Like they do this, they do peck and peck, things like that. Anyways, um, so I will look at some of this stuff. Usually I pick up this kind. This is what I like. Um, this is the first ombre and tie-dye one I've had, but I've had other ones with different themes on it, but it's this tied and then flares out. It's a really cute look, especially for those of us that have a little Buddha belly. It's a really cute look to wear over like a stun dress so you can wear it all year round or, or whatever. Wear this as like a shrug or something. Yes, it saves like all kinds of little dresses that you might be like, oh, I can't really wear that today or this, you know, so this saves it and it makes it cute. So these usually sell for around 20 to 25 whenever I pick them up in different colors. Okay. All right. Get some of this off of here. So this is just beautiful, this teardrop or thumbprint, and it was a, it's a Pyrex. So it's a modern Pyrex. I paid $5.99. I can't remember if it was half price or not. I got to start marking this stuff better because if I'm going to wait three or four hauls in before I do a haul review, but I just liked it. I'm probably just going to keep it. It's not like a high end, you know, vintage piece, but it is beautiful. Can you see, like, see how beautiful that is? So this is very like mid-century modern looking to me and it'll go nice with my vintage art deco, my modern stuff. I think when I, I saw resale value on this, there's not very many of them, but somewhere around 20-ish. So, but it does say Pyrex on there, but it's just beautiful. So this may not make it up, but I'm just telling you what I know about it for those of you that are resellers and, you know, we're trying to learn stuff. I got this 
<clears throat> this is by Circleware. It's almost vintage, not quite, not quite vintage, but it, it's really a three-piece set, gold, red, and green. The gold one's not very pretty. Like, the gold one was painted instead of just like either flash or infused with the glass, like the red one and the green one. So I just got this green one. I'm just going to keep it for myself, but they'll sell for about $12. Mm, about 30 if you have the three-piece um, graduated size set so it's just a little canister so that's cute so there's resale information on that it's really heavy um, I will try to show you this but it does have a sticker I don't know if you can yeah you can so there is some resale value on that I just wanted to show you okay two of these $1.29 let me see if you can see. It has frosted, let me see if I can get that, frosted Apple computer logo. So it was probably an employee gift. And I did look it up, and some people have similar things like this, anywhere from $20 to $47. I've got two of them. And I have some other Apple things that I think are employee swag as well, like a notebook. I've got a t-shirt that has batteries in it and it has the big Apple logo and it just like flashes all these crazy lights. It's worth about 20 or 25. So probably I'm just going to lot all of this stuff up together, um, together soon and just see what happens. See if I could sell it as a lot of this, like I'm pretty sure employee swag. So I've got quite a few other pieces. So that's why I did that. These two, okay, I'm going to need some help with these if anybody knows. Otherwise, I will keep looking. No mark on it. Um, Google Lens wants to show me bubble wrap. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll keep trying different lighting and different backgrounds with, with Google Lens. But a lot of this comes up as Fenton, but I'm not happy with that. Because the Fenton ones look a little, like, they're shaped a little different here. It is an opalescent and moon glass. It seems to have been a mold because there's a line on each one of them. So, I will keep working on this. It's, I don't think it's the cheaper um, Anchor Hawking either. So, I need to keep working on it. It's like a moonstone or an opalescent, so may turn out to be Fenton. Who knows? I'll keep working on it. Maybe somebody already knows. So I will um, use some of the things I just told you about is what I will use. I'll compare the size of the hobnail, the different colors of the, um, the, the opalescence, the way it graduates here and there, and the way this clear, this is clear. About that much of it is clear. I think you can see that on the bottom. So those are some things that I'm using as comparison and why I, it doesn't match anything yet. These are lovely. What did I pay? $1.59. Super lovely, right? Let me bring one in again. Don't break it. Let me bring one in again. Is that? That's not doing it justice, is it? Mm -mm. It's not showing the beautiful opalescence of it. Okay. So we will work on those. And I will try not to keep the <laughs> two Iroquois creamer or pitchers. There are a lot of these. There at focus. I paid $1.59. Um, there are a lot of these for sale for around 12 to 18 ish, seems to be, with the little maple leaves. <laughs> um, not too many of this one, which has a little bit of an atomic leaning, right? This one might bring a little more. No one else has one just like it. And with the atomic leaning, I think I can add a few dollars to this one, right? Okay, and let me show you the bottom. Iroqu Informal by Iroquois. And the designer for these is Ben Siebel. Let me see if that will work for you guys for anybody interested I don't know if that's focusing so little vintagey things those are cute so I'll probably just add this one to the queue for around 15 to 18 it's in great shape remember some of these lower prices when we're doing comps we need to remember maybe when we open up the listing we find out oh it's got chips it's got discoloration it's been repaired right these are both great no chips cracks or repairs um, so this one, I'll probably put a little more. And when I was looking at this stuff, there's like matching plates, matching little servers, things like that. So that was fun. 
Okay, and here's one. Uh, here's another stumper. Okay, I'm not the big on the bells, and this one's not marked. I thought maybe it was going to be a Fenton. There's no artist signature on the hand painting, but it does have little window pane cutouts. It is cut to glass, um, cut to clear on the bottom, well bluish. It's all glass crystal, really nice. So here I come. So I cannot find anything like it. Isn't that pretty? So that's why I'm taking a chance with this bell. And then the gold metallic trim is in pretty good shape. This is um, crystal too. So we're going to try to figure this out. If not, I'll just use keywords and just wait for someone to happen to stumble across it and go, oh, I know what that is and I love it. Darn, why don't people sign their stuff? I want to bring this in again because somebody might be able to help me. Can you see that cut? I, I say cut to clear because I don't know what else to call it, but it's kind of blue, right? That beveling on the bottom and then there's three window panes and then hand painted. So I paid $3.99. So it's got some weight to it. Recently I just picked this up, um, $2.49. I learned this from watching Drew and Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady. She always goes for the salt glaze. That's where I learned about it is through her and then Jeffrey Real Nifty Vintage talked about in one of his videos so this is from salmon falls that will come in but i don't think it's gonna anyways it's stamped it says salmon falls something something to the date and um dover new hampshire and then it's got another logo here maybe that's an artist mark or something i don't know but this is um salt glaze it's got this texture to it so this is worth about this little piece is there's not a lot with this blueberry vine this one's worth about i'd say about 25 ish but when you go look at some of the solds of salmon falls pottery like some pieces are way up there okay um hang on a minute hey siri what is salt glaze pottery salt glaze or salt glaze pottery is pottery usually stoneware, with a glaze of glossy, translucent, and slightly orange peel-like texture which was formed by throwing common salt into the kiln during the higher temperature part of the firing process. Do you want me to keep reading? We're good, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so there's about that. It's got a lot of weight to it, stoneware, earthenware. It's really lovely. It is. So, yay for that. This will be my first piece of salt glaze and my first salmon falls so if you're new to learning this deeper dive into vintage um, glass and pottery I'm really shocked at the pottery too that is got pottery is just as much fun as vintage glass definitely um, anyways make note of that name too just to study at night if you do like I do <laughs> okay Let's try to move along. Still stumped by this plate, but it is beautiful. Let me show it one more time. Nobody in the identification um, group, old things, drifters and pickers and a couple other, could help me with that. But it's really beautiful. So I'm like, Pennsylvania Dutch? No, I just don't, I don't know. But it's really pretty really heavy nicely glazed so i'm still going to work with it and if not if i can't find anything for it then um i'll just try to use keywords i'll treat it like that other piece i this bell if i can't identify a maker i'll treat it like that and just like use the best keywords i can and hope someone stumbles across it and says i love that too right let's do these plates real quick because it's not as bad as it looks i've got four of the smaller plates and four one two three, three of the dinner plates why did i only get three? Oh, the other one was chipped so i'm just gonna hope you know sell these as replacement this is stangle let me find a good one okay yeah this one's pretty good sometimes the markings are smeared stangle this is town and country with this um, yellow sponge. I think it came in a couple other colors. It's called Town and Country. It says it right on there. So that was easy. And I knew Stangle from watching, um, you know, some of the other vintage people, Dr. Lori, 
who else mentioned it? I think Ashley Rose mentioned it, or maybe it was Jeffrey, Real Mitzi Vintage. These are some of the people that I've been really enjoying their videos. So I learned about that. So I think replacement value on these is pretty good, probably $8 to $10 a piece. So this isn't my first stangle. I can't remember what my first stangle was. So pretty good deal on these. So there they are. I've got stuff in between each one. So it really doesn't look like anything you should look at, right? Um, I don't know what to say or why I did. I guess when I was doing my, you know, like I keep saying, and most of us do, most of my reseller friends, you know, we do that, right? We look at solds on um, on eBay and we teach ourselves stuff. We, we're watching a lot of YouTube content, watching each other and learning. So probably I heard Stangle. And then I did what I usually do, which is, well, let me go see what old Stangle makes. And I probably saw this and it was in my brain. Okay. Woo -hoo. We did all this, right? Let's pull some stuff up. Okay. So. <laughs> You're like, why she got milk glass? Some of you saw me buy it and probably thought, what? So this... Aroco, if I'm saying it right, Aroco, France, this glass. Um, this was real popular in the 90s. I had it, and I had a table that matched even. So, I mean, a table and chairs that matched. You know, I had that black lacquered um, table and the wrought iron chairs, like mod chairs. And then this was all of my matchy-matchy silver um, setup. So, um, I've been replacing it a little bit as I find cute pieces so I'm not gonna have a whole set I don't like matchy matchy anymore I like everyone to pick out something that speaks to them so but I did want to add this big serving bowl I've got a few of the small bowls and a few of the plates I haven't even been buying the dinner plates because usually they're two utensil scraps so I've been passing so and um okay that's enough of that <laughs> so <laughs> Indiana milk glass um, harvest. So this is it in white, you guys. I'm. I think I talked yesterday that I'm going to do it in the blue carnival. But these were ridiculously cheap, half price of so fifty cents and seventy five cents. There were a whole bunch of them. They're only worth like maybe you could get five dollars for the set like that. Seriously, I don't. Why is why is milk glass? I know it was like a more affordable brand, but still. The value should be more than $5 for a beautiful set like this, right? So I just bought a four-piece setup. Just cute. Let it focus. See that little round circle there? You know, that's to set the little cup in. So there's another little party, right? <laughs> 50 cents and 75 cents. It was $1.25 for each setup. But resale value on it is about like $5. Now, if I had a booth at an antique mall or something, that you know, that might make more sense. I might just do something like that, throw it in there. But, you know, some things you have, with the price of shipping going up, we have to really think, like, it's got to be something someone really is going to want and collectible, probably, for people to pay the rising shipping costs. Okay, although FedEx is a godsend, sometimes FedEx saves the day. Seriously. And I know a lot of people are using um, Pirate Ship, but so far I have found out that when something is too heavy and too large for the cubic shipping for United States Postal Service, that if I switched over to FedEx, um, it drops the price significantly. So, and better than Pirate Ship, like so far. But I still, you know, I do have a Pirate Ship account because everybody said get one. So I do have that. I, you know, but still I haven't used it once. <sighs> okay. As a matter of fact, I went and um, I'm changing a lot of my listings, you know, where it says um, it's a default. It says shipped with priority mail, whatever, USPS mail to default on eBay when you're listing, at least on the phone, on the app. I don't know about on the computer. I've been saying, um, or FedEx. Sometimes I will physically add the two options even, but normally I just... I just put one shipping price. I don't do calculated shipping. There's another thing. I don't do calculated shipping because sometimes the price is crazy and it's going to turn off buyers. I really, 
if I wouldn't say this to new buyers, but if you're an experienced buyer, I mean seller, sorry, seller, if you're an experienced seller, you've probably already thought of this on your own too, like I did. Like calculated shipping, I'm gonna lose sales. Some of the times it's just crazy high. So I never do that. I'm experienced enough to kind of know about what I need to put according to weight, you know, and the size box. So all right, let's put this down. <laughs> so there's some of my fun, but still just passing on resale knowledge. Let me move some of this out of the way. I've got an IKEA bag of things and I don't I don't want to lose these. These are so cute. Oh. <laughs> I can't keep everything, right? You guys are Oh my gosh. Let me take this off. I forgot all about these for Christmas. <laughs> Darn it. Oh well, this can be used anytime. This little woodland creature. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Look. It's real soft fur. Little woodland creature. Headband. That's cute. And a little feather duster with some vintage looking label. I don't know if it actually is. But that's vintagey looking. There's no barcode on it. <laughs> so that might be a cute prop someone's going to want. Let's do these clothes real quick before I forget. Um, I just bought this for myself. This is cute. What is it? Free people? No, ink. Um, it's just cute. Look, it's a little 70s patchwork. Um, and it's not too short not too short for a woman of my age i'll wear like um darker tights and boots or something or maybe sneakers and a cute shirt you know something you know i'm not going to show a lot of skin everywhere <laughs> i like pick an area where a little skin can show that's always been my rule and how i raised my daughter so okay so that's cute right super cute so how much did i pay for that four dollars um this isn't a bad brand ink that's not a bad brand I mean, like a bread and butter band brand. This would probably bring about 20 bucks if you wanted to resell it. But these, this is some vintage Versace. Yes. Oh my gosh. Great timing. A little bit of high waisted. I, I'm going to say mom jean. I hate that term. That is just, I don't know. There's something kind of, it's, is it just me? There's something kind of derogatory about it. I don't know. But it's nice stretch jean. I'm not going to say mom jean on the, on this. The high-waisted look is coming back again. Vintage. And this is real Versace. It has the little Medusa everywhere. Like the little snaps. The little rivets. I don't know. Is that picking it up? Little Medusa head. And made in Italy. I've sold vintage Versace before. I sold like a vintage Versace t-shirt. It didn't have much on it. Like $50. So these are pretty cute. Gosh, they're nice and stretchy too. I'm going to try to get about $80 since they have some of the hallmarks of um, vintage that are popular again right now. So we'll see. I don't even know how I spotted it. Oh, you know why? Because look. When it was hanging up, it had Versace, that little thing there. And I was like, wait, what? So first you have to make sure they're authentic, right? Um, some of the more Christmas items that were half price. I liked this. This is by Lennox. It's just a heart, a metal enameled heart American flag by Lennox. So I paid $2. Resale value on it's probably under 10 but I'm keeping this. And then I loved this one too. This one's not by a special maker, but it is glass. It's the um, Statue of Liberty. I used that a lot in my themes, um, st the Statue of Liberty. Not so much the flag, but the Statue of Liberty means a lot to me. And I used it a lot. It's like you see my avatar. I'm wearing like a the fake, you know, <laughs> Statue of Liberty crown. And I tend to use that emoticon a lot in some of my promos. Just trying to remind everybody. I'm a freedom tracker. We're almost done. <laughs> Always seem to find a smiley face. Found one that day. Look, a white smiley face. Bell. Well, yes. 
um, a paperweight. 250. Let me see. Let me get this. A nice little paperweight with some uh, swirly in it. This is not a high end paperweight, it is signed with a sticker Dynasty Galleries. Of this, of the lower end paperweights, okay, of the lower end paperweights, they're like the top of that list, okay? This is probably about $12, $15 at the most. Um, no chips or anything, and it does still have the Dynasty. They were just an importer, okay? So I just thought it was cute. I can't, it's hard for me to pass up art glass, but it's not going to be one of the $30, $40, $50 ones like I get lucky sometimes and sell. <sighs> There's something in here. You guys saw me buy this. $249. That's cute, isn't it? It's a, just a um, hand blown glass. It could be from the 70s. It could be from yesterday. The glass blowers didn't. Wait a minute. There is something underneath that sticker. There is something underneath the sticker. It might have the name of, of either the gift shop or like we have a. Um, glass blowing studio down in Manitou Springs, the touristy town. And so they do the glass. They have artists that do the glass and then they sell it in the front. But several artists work in that glass shop. I don't think I'm going to sell that, but it would probably be, depending on what's underneath there, it could be $10. It could be a little more depending on what's underneath there, but that's really cute. I kind of want to keep that. Oh, darn it. I forgot what this was. Wait, hey, let me get my phone, you guys, because I found that. There it is. It's a vintage. Okay, this is by Bartlett Collins. Bartlett Collins. So that was new to me. It's real, I thought it was going to be like Bristol. And I'm like, well, Bristol's more hand-painted, right? And it's not, it's almost like that Bristol glass, but not quite. But I like the Atomic. Super cute, right? Super cute. And I don't know if it's coming across, but this isn't just like a milk glass. It's real thin and it has a really unique quality to it that may not be coming across. So Bartlett Collins and this might be worth around $28 to $38. So yes on that one. And this I found out. It's hand blown glass. Um, it's okay. This isn't the artist. It's a Nor it's a Nor uh, Norleans. It's a Norleans product. The sticker is missing, but it's Norleans, and they were like importers of lots of different glass and home decor from other areas. So you don't really know is this from like Italy? Was it from France? You don't really know because it would just you know the sticker's gone, and they did a lot of they bought from a lot of things and then sold it under their company name. Okay, so. But I paid $1.99 unless it was half price. Super cute. I think this is one I pulled off. Didn't I pull this off the cart when they were still trying to put stuff up? But probably about $20. That's cute though. Super cute. Um, someone helped me with this plate. This crystalline little... Let me catch up for you guys. I hope that's coming through. It's really pretty. It's like that. It's like fractal frost on a window, but it's colored nicely glazed over pottery. Now this one's confusing to me. I paid a dollar fifty nine. I totally love this. It is signed, just like someone just signed it with a little engraving thing. And this is what's confusing me. Okay, there's a signature that says silvery, something like that. You can't. You won't be able to read it. And it has a number of the number to the plate. And then the date says 9354. Could that be possible? 9354. So I'm still working on this. I wish, I don't, yeah, it's not going to show up. It's just barely like someone took a toothpick and wrote in that. But I paid $1.59. This is really pretty. Now this one, this recent purchase, I thought the colors were horrid. Um, ooh, when you, okay, hold up. Now when you hold it up to the light, you guys can't see this, can you? It looks purple. I, I swear, with this beautiful light, it's like a purple color. Oh my gosh, but let me look at the camera. This is just what I saw, just what you guys are seeing. 
But when you hold it up to the light, it's got a purple. So if you were to put this like in a window or something, which would probably ruin it, I don't know how to display this where you can see the beautiful purple that I'm seeing. Anyways, this is fused glass and it is signed Higgins. Let me find it. I was like, wait, what is that? In gold metallic. Let it focus. It's not going to do it, you guys. Sorry. It says Higgins real small right in there, like not even an inch. And so when I looked that up, I was like, whoa. To me, this isn't super epic because of the color, the colorway on this, but in the size, but it should still be maybe about $40. But some of their stuff was, whoa, I hope all of us find some Higgins glass. So if you don't know it and you're learning like me, do the Higgins research. H-I-G-G-I-N-S. Get that in our brains because some of that stuff is high dollar resale. I went gaga over this myself. It's super heavy. It's so heavy, I barely trust the handle. Because it is vintage, it turns out to be Fostoria. I already forgot the name of the pattern. Fostoria. Resale value on it. I paid $5 because I love it. Oh my gosh, this must weigh 8, 10 pounds. Um, I'm so sorry. I already forgot the name of it. Hang on. Dang it. I need vitamins that will improve memory. <laughs> So, did I put it in here? Stangle? I didn't save it because I thought... I, oh, there it is. I did. Amber Brown. Let me see. Someone else has one. Jamestown pitcher. This is a Jamestown pitcher. So, that might just be the shape or is that the swirl? I don't know. Fostoria Heavy Large Amber Brown Jamestown pitcher is the, the ad that I saved. Let me see how much they... Darn it. I wiped off the price. I think I'm going to keep it, but isn't that gorgeous? I feel like the resale value was somewhere around $25. do not quote me on that, okay? But that's epic. I don't know if I trust the handle again. This one's... I think this one would be okay. Um, it's not like hand-blown where it's like attached later. I think it's all part of the mold. This one could probably be trusted, but I think I might just use it for something else. Um, put something in it or a planter. I just love this for some reason. And that might be it, you guys. Is that it? Yes, it is. Anyways, I'm pretty excited. Those were all good trips. Um, I picked up, a, you know, maybe 10 to 15 items at each time. And if you watched Thrift with me, you saw all of them happen. Okay. Well, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so I'll probably just make some yummy food, some, some vegan food, some food for Steve. If anybody, any of the kids or whatever want to come over, whatever. We don't really drink, so we're not going to be going out anywhere, but I probably won't work too much tomorrow. But then I'm so excited for 2020. I've got lots of projects. I've already picked out a theme song. I need to pick out another one because my first theme song is irreverent, but I'm going to use it anyways. because a little bit of spunk never hurt anybody. So <laughs> I'll tell you what that one is and let me pick out a more subdued one for those of you that might be easily offended. <laughs> but I already got my irreverent funky one already approved with my reseller BFF Lindy Glenn and some of the reseller Stew Girls loved it too so and I'll tell you guys what that is just let me pick out a more mild one to go with it I'm really excited for 2020 my whiteboard that I got at Home Depot is over here on the wall it already has my list of the things that's going to happen in 2020 I titled it me myself and I <laughs> I've got another channel that's going to be dropping um, nothing reseller related um, I'm hoping to go to VidCon I've got some personal things I'm going to do. I'm going to have my, my tattoos fixed a little bit and this one a cover up. So I'm pretty excited. And I think it's going to be a good year for a lot of us. A lot of us um, that are ready to, you know, work smarter. I'm not going to say harder, work smarter. That's all, you guys. I will talk to you later or see you on one of your videos.